YouTubers, it's Linda uh, with LL Creation Studio. I have a 6x9 journal to share with you today. She is uh, covered with the uh, fabric inside and out. Uh, she's got different layers of fabric here on the cover. She's decoupaged and she's uh, hand, uh, sewn on the machine here. And then she has this hand painted floral there. I think it looks like a tulip. I'm not sure. If anybody has any other uh, opinions of it, let me know. She's this beautiful, uh, I th I'm, I'm going to call it a raspberry purple. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a gorgeous uh, color. And it's like she's been painted and dotted all over it. And this is coffee stain muslin paper here and then this is a decoupage little flower my flower there that goes with the colors that are on the inside and like I said she's six by nine her name is Dorsey and uh, she's got an exposed spine and you can see the two stitchings going around this onto the back all, all the way around the cover. She is a uh, hard cover um, and so let's take a look inside. Now she's not the masonite hard cover. This is the professional board uh, cover. So here on the inside you can see that she's totally uh, done in the fabric that was on the look at these colors aren't they fabulous. Uh, on the outside uh, I did the same on the inside. She's got this beautiful polka dot envelope here, velcroed, and a button sewed on. And then uh, she's decoupaged with this, I think that is a three by six card. And then inside the envelope, you're going to have something uh, an art piece of paper, white. That you can do anything with and then here this is graphic 45 uh, paper and then here I've had these little uh, what do you call them uh, I love it when it just goes right out of your head mm. brads sorry brads you know sometimes it just doesn't work does it I mean my mind just does it just goes blank uh, but anyway, they're little brads that I put on each beginning of each signature. And there are three signatures here. Three nice size ones. I remember binding this. They are a nice size. Um, and then here we have a little envelope. I got it from one of the Etsy stores. I don't remember uh, which one, but it, uh, they're really cute. It's buttons sewn on, and then she has a little cloth here. and. A, and an original stamp, a three cent stamp. You have a four by six coffee stain and then you have this beautiful uh, white, it's like a stationary uh, cardstock paper. A lot of edging with espresso coffee throughout, line paper, card stock. Here's my coffee stain paper with some stamping, floral stamping. I do call this another botanical. Um, and I did use a lot of this uh, beautiful white stationary paper throughout. This and this paper is from Victoria Designs. You'll see some of her paper th mixed in throughout with uh, Graphic 45. You can find her uh, shop on Etsy also. And then we have another pocket. This is some of that marbling paper. Uh, I think I got it from Nick the Booksmith. And it's on a real nice heavy cardstock. And this was just in my stash. I don't know where it came from, but it's a beautiful line paper with some daffodils printed underneath the lines. 
I just thought it was pretty, so I grabbed it and put it in there. More of the coffee staining and the, the print stamping. Graphic, uh, I'm sorry, Victoria's Designs paper. Artie Mays's paper. So this is a combination of different, as, as, as you see, a combination of different artist papers. A nice heavy cardstock that's been coffee stained. This came from my stash. I have no idea where it came from. Artie Mays, and I have a little tuck spot here. Here is two gray 4x6s of mixed media paper and then a mixed media large folder here. Gives you plenty of writing spaces throughout this journal. Let me get that in there. I loved Graphic 45's uh, botanical. I mean, nobody really does it like this and it comes it's so vivid and so perfect that I mean there's people on Etsy like Artie Mays and Victoria Designs but once you print it out it doesn't print out as gorgeous as as this is as vivid and I have two different printers and I never get that look this is uh, Victoria Designs Victoria Designs. If you haven't checked out these shops that I keep naming, it's really, you really should. You'd be doing yourself a favor. That looks like Artie Mazes uh, collage. You've got this, and you've got another uh, mixed media, and then you have a two of the, well, I'm not clever, two of my paintings that I did with the uh, staining, and then I joined two of the watercolor and made this little folder for you. Another little Brad here. This happens to be, see, Tim Holtz is right here. Stamping, Tim Holtz is uh, washi tape. Another line journal here. Folder, journaling folder. This happens to be Nick the Booksmith's paper stamping. Guess who? Tim Holtz. I did the seam binding in this beautiful purple linen, wax linen thread to go with the cover.
see how pretty that purple looks coming through there it just breaks everything up you know and then here's the purple plaid bread try saying that purple plaid bread And again, this is Artie Mays. Victoria Designs. See, I'm getting better. Victoria Designs. Victoria Designs. Victoria Designs. Also Victoria Designs. Victoria Designs. Artie Mays. Uh, these are graphic 45s. I love the mixing of the different artist papers. Party maze. I think that's what journaling is about. Not only, you know, doing the memories and everything, but also I love paper and all of the different textures and the feels and the colors and, and coordinating all of it together is just that's the whole fun for me making journals is it's like doing a little piece of art here and here is the back and then look at this envelope isn't that cute uh, and it's velcro also look at the inside it is just beautiful botanical things and you can see how she's been uh, edged and she's got this really dark patina going on and here's the top and the bottom now the only sewing on this one appeared to be here on the cover I know I've done a lot of and I love this raggedy edge here so this is Dorsey and 172 pages so she's one of my big ones uh, and she's this full six by nine and she's got a hard cover and so I really appreciate you watching and if you haven't uh, thought about subscribing it would really mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to my channel I'm trying to build up my uh, channel uh, subscribers and it would really be nice if you could help me do that and then there's some other uh, people uh, that I'm going to be mentioning at the uh, end of this down there in the description uh, that that also if you could visit their channel and, and subscribe to them it would be wonderful uh, I mean we're, we're not newbies but we work really 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 hard uh, with this this is our business businesses and this is how we uh, supplement our incomes and we love doing it and we just need more people to comment and let us know what you think about our work and so thank you so much for watching today and i will see you later bye bye